Kind of, let me hold, let me, hold me, uh, Matthews 24 39. Yeah, read that. Read Matthews 24 and 30, 38. All right, Kyle. This Matthews chapter 24. Verse 38. Verse 3. They have taken traffic castle against thy people. This Matthew 24, verse 38. For as in the days of Noah that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So also shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Yeah. God, that's how it's going to be, man. Yeah. People are not going to see it because it's through the Spirit, man. So it's going to come to them as a thief in the night, man. They're going to be partying and, and being immersed until this flood that we, that we preach and that we are prophesying into them, man. Starts, it comes and it takes them away until actually, what we say actually comes to pass and that big bang comes, man. You see what I'm saying? So it's going to be at the time to know, man. See? So just like at the time to know, a flood came, man. This is going to be that spiritual flood in this time, man. But guess what? That water is life into us, man. Because he said that our people have committed two sins, man. One of them is uh, they, they, they basically cued off your broken surface. This starts like a whole no water. You see what I'm saying? Right. With us, our systems can hold the water, man, because we're not broken vessels. You see? Right. We can hold the water, and when we drink it, it's life into us, man. But yeah. Some people is life, but some people is death. You see what I'm saying? Come. So that's what it is, man. Come. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see. Get Ecclesiastes, man, on Sirach 47 and 47 and 14, man. As we know, Solomon is Yahweh Shai in the reincarnation, man. Now let's, uh, let's get it. Sirach, yeah, Sirach 47 and 14. Alright, this. Oh. Uh, Sirach chapter 47, verse 10. 14. This Sirach chapter 47, verse 14. How was. Was thou in thy youth, and as a flood filled with understanding. Keep on. Thus, thy soul covered the whole earth, and thou fillest it with dark terrors. Come, come. See what I'm saying? Now get, uh, I'm not speaking that yet. Get Matthews 13 and 10. Solomon was the wisest man on the planet at that time, man. He basically still is. <laughs> but yeah, he was the wisest man. We know that Solomon was Yahweh Shai, man. So he was that flood filled with understanding, man. And those, and those, and those, and those, uh, those parables and riddles, man, went throughout the four corners of the earth because that's where we were scattered to, you see what I'm saying? But not everybody picked it up. Only the elect men picked those parables and riddles up. Now get uh, Matthews 13 and 10. This Matthews chapter 13, verse 10. And the disciples came and said unto him, What speakest thou unto them in parables? He said, as He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the, mys the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them, it is not given. Nah, man. And that's what it is, man. So that's why they're not going to understand it, man. It's going to come to them as a thief in the night. It's going to be that blood, that spiritual blood, man. They can't see, man, because they, he gave them uh, ears that they can't hear, neither eyes that they can see, man. You see what I'm saying? So it's going to smack them in the face, man. But we, we have to understand it. How do we get the understanding of what's, what's coming by reading the scriptures, man? Which is that living water. So as, as, as we read it, it's coming to pass. So that gives us a very keen understanding of what, the, what time we're coming into, man. We're coming into that time of, of, of just great destruction, man. So you got to figure out, figure out which side you're going to be on, man. So it's, uh, basically, that's, that's basically what it is, man. You got to figure out which side you're going to be on. Can I get a scripture? Yeah, 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 you know. I, Isaiah 59 and 19. You, you break it down. This Isaiah chapter 59, verse 19. So shall they fear the name of Yahweh from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun when the enemy 
Show a cup and like a flood in the spirit of Yahweh shall lift up a standard against him. Okay, can I, can I break that? Whatever, that oh, so, so yeah, you know, um, so yeah, Esau go like like um that revelations um how how it said the serpent gonna come as a flood. You know, these so-called white white people gonna come as a flood. You know, and the Lord gonna lift up that standard. You know, the Lord go um protect us from our enemies. You know, like for example, say um, say say in that day of the time of trouble, um, it's a elect member on his last leg that Esau pull up on some trash, then there's um some shit happened, then the Lord revealed them out of it. You know, or like for example, like um when they when the Israelites left out of Egypt. What happened um, when they got to the Red Sea? Mm -hmm. the, the Pharaoh and his um, men came, chased them. Mm -hmm. But when um, when the Israelites got across from the Red, the, the Lord opened the Red Sea so we could walk through. Then when they got across and when the Pharaoh walked through, they closed. Um, he had closed the water on them. That's that standard, you know, that the Lord go um, rise up. Come. Yeah, he's gonna give us spiritual powers. Yeah, gonna give, yeah exactly. He's gonna yeah. give us spiritual powers, man. Come. Yeah, he's gonna give us that spiritual power, yeah. And it say, and the Redeemer shall come to Zion unto them that turn from transgression, and Jacob saith Yahweh. Come. Yeah. No, the, no, that was the point. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was the point, man. Yeah. So basically, uh, Esau is gonna come in as a flood, man. Right. You gotta be ready for that time, man. You gotta be able to. Uh, uh, I'm looking for it. <laughs> it's, not, it's not coming to me, man. Yeah, Esau, you gotta, basically, yeah. Esau's coming down with great rap, man. Yeah. Uh, like, right. uh, let's see. Oh, it's like um, And like the scripture say, so, um, someone that is feeble go yeah. be as David in that day. You oh, know? yeah. So, uh, you know, it might uh, be a brother that, that's, that's not really strong for real. Con. Then Esau and his crew come on some trash. Then the Lord just... Make him be as David. David start fucking shit up. You know? Yeah, get and, and after him, get first First Peter five and eight. Dude, it's like yeah, <laughs> because cause you got the spirit on me, man. I got one more. Point. No, no, no. Make your point. No, this is yours. I, I, this is for him. This question is for him. I, you don't break it down. He break it down, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. It's for him. Five and, first Peter five and eight. This first Peter's chart the five verse eight. Be sober, be vigilant, uh, vi uh, vi vigilant. Yeah, yeah. Because your adversaries, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Come, man. Just like the scriptures say, man. He crouches in the uh, looks in the crannies, man. <laughs> like, like he do, like he do now, man. So what makes you think he's not gonna be? Uh, doing that in that time, man. That's right. He say he's coming in. He says that in that day, he's gonna be as a man, uh, uh, basically running away from a, a bear and ran into a lion and then put his hand on the wall and then a snake bit him, man. So he was running away from somebody that was waiting for him because bears like to camp out, man. You run into a roaring lion, man. It could be a, it could be a Jake that's coming for you or somebody that's chasing you. you. Put your hand on the wall and you get that serpent's bite, man. So you put your you rest your hand on that wall and where's that serpent's bite, man? The, uh, that word, karagma, uh, uh, which means mark, goes back to the serpent's okay. bite. You know what I'm saying? So you rest your hand on the wall. You say, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm actually just let me just go to the fucking concentration camp. They probably got it'll probably be better there now here in the wilderness, man. You rest your hand on the wall. You get the bite. Now you are dead, man. That's right. See you know what I'm saying? So you gonna catch that poison either way, man. That's there's right. No, there's no, there's no, there's no getting out of the judgment of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, man. Calm. See you know what I'm saying? Calm. Now let's uh let's get uh, Ecclesiasticus two and five. This Ecclesiastes because chapter two verse five. For gold is charred in the furnace, and acceptable man in the furnace of adversary. Come, man. Cause the Lord said what? He said he chastens every son that he loveth, man. So he's gonna take us through those, uh, through this basically that hyperbolic time chamber. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, my Dragon Ball. Man. Yeah, yeah. I'm here. I'm here. I know. I know what you're talking about. Boxing up in there, and he gonna be putting, you, he gonna put weight on you so that way you be strong in that time. You see what I'm saying? Because guess what? You gotta put on the whole armor you have about Shimiyahu Shai. It's spiritual armor. It's not physical armor. So what does that mean? That means that 
any metals that you try to mend in this world has to be mended with what? Fire. See you know what I'm saying? So you gotta go through that fire to get that to get that armor deep to you. Because everybody's armor is specifically tailored to their body, man. That's right. Nobody's armor is the same. That's why we all have different walks, different trials, and different, different tribulations that we go through, man. Come. All of our armor is tailored to our bodies, man. See you know what I'm saying? We ain't walking around the same exactly the same exact suit. We got it's, it's tailored to you, man. That's right. How's it, how's that armor being shaped? It's been shaped with that rod of correction, man. So let's get it, man. Let's get it. Let's see. Uh, yeah, yeah, because David, when the uh, Saul was trying to put armor on David, David said, "Look, I haven't tried this armor yet. I, I can't. I'm good." He he said, "Look, I haven't tried this armor." Like the brother just said, every brother is got the is, is every armor is tailored to, to 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 fit your body, man. You know. The yeah, the scripture said to, to uh, keep to keep thy garment, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, you know, no, 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 man. Could, could you got you going right now, man? Ephesians six and eleven. Yeah. This Ephesians yeah. chapter six, verse eleven. Put on the whole armor of Yahweh, that ye may be able to stand against the walls of the devil. Time. Guess what? We the only ones that can put on that armor. Because the only way you get that armor is if you go through those trials and those tribulations. If you go through that spiritual fire, and this gold is trying to fire, that's how we are, man. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So the only way you can get that armor is if you go through that fire, man. You see what I'm saying? That's why the elect are, are, are going to be okay in that time because we the only ones that have that spiritual armor on, you see? Yeah. And the only way, you can, uh, the only way that, that the armor is going to be tailored to you is if you take that rod of correction, yo. Yep. And that's, that's what separates us from the two thirds, man. So we shouldn't be uh, worried about the shit that's happening now or the shit that people are doing right now because uh, basically uh, it may it may not uh, your pressure or or the what you put the duck you put the holidays and all this other shit, man. Because guess what? A fucking uh, bunny rabbit ain't gonna ain't gonna be able to stop yeah, man. Shit you shot, man. That's right. Uh -huh. Hey, get this in Matthews, man. Um, Math, uh, Matthews uh, seven and thirteen, man. That's for the brother. This Matthew chapter 7, verse 13. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to the destruction. And many there, and many, and many there be which go in, treat at their end. So basically it is true, man. It's a very narrow path, man. On one side you got fire, on one side you got uh, deep waters, man. What's the spirit? The spirit is pure fire, man. So spirits are fire, you see what I'm saying? So you can either get uh, taken over by some diverse spirit, some fucking, uh, some demon might take you over, or it can be tribulation. Fire group is in tribulation as well, man. You just get caught up in some shit and get gets you taken out, man. Or on the other side, it's, it's, it's water, man. Water can represent uh, 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 a form of wisdom, whether it might not be a wisdom on the right-hand side or, or another philosophy man you get taken by some bullshit man like 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 fucking uh scientology or some shit man yeah <laughs> yeah because yeah because a motherfucker can cool in the water like this is comfortable exactly, yeah you've been exactly, exactly. comfortable in water you know exactly yeah but in this time man things are gonna get pick, go, picking up real heavy man because as, as things pick up on the right hand side it's gonna pick up on the left hand side so that's right when you start to because he built you up little things are gonna start to be Big problems, man. That's you see right. What I'm saying so. You got to make sure that you that you get shaped up, man. In that armor. So if you if you're not accepting that that armor or that water, man, because if you're not taking a drink and you, you just got your fucking dirty ass rag on your face and, you, and it's waterboarding, you know? that's right. And you, now you're drowning in it, man. That's right. So you can drink or you can drown, man. Yeah. You choose, yo. Woo. Drink or drown. Yo. That's right. <laughs> What's going on? Is y'all done? Yeah, y'all done? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Come on, come on. So with that, you know, we give our praise to the Lord. I will give double honor to the Apostle Elspeth Nostra. We as well. 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 We as
Come on. Shalom. Shalom.